What's good? Welcome to Ari Roars. This is Ari speaking. Today, I'm finally getting into the second half of my channel, which is going to be more about lifestyle and fashion. And today, I'm going to be talking about style. I'm literally so freaking excited for this. I've been waiting for the right time to start, and I think it's today. Now, this video is going to be about styling with a small wardrobe. So with me personally, I haven't been able to shop at all recently because it's kind of least on my financial priorities if you know what I mean and it's never been a big struggle for me to maintain a wardrobe and a sense of style because style has always been really important to me but lately it's been a little bit more difficult because I haven't been able to add in new items to like spice it up and freshen it up for me and on top of that I went through a big purging and got rid of like 90% of my wardrobe which honestly it leaves me with quite a bit like a good amount of clothes still because I used to just shop a whole lot <laughs> but nonetheless I have a lot less options and I have been having to challenge myself with styling which has been actually really rewarding for me and my creativity and I want to share what I learned with you in this video today so I will be sharing with you where I bought the clothes in this video as far as I can remember but this is not a really like where to shop type of video it's just for a little bit of perspective and it just so happens that none of these clothes are designer or like these hype beast streetwear type of brands or anything. They're all from more accessible and affordable stores. So I will be letting y'all know where I got them from for those reasons as well. I know it can be a lot of pressure for a lot of us to wear like designer clothes and stuff. So just to let you know that you don't have to. <laughs> but before I get into showing you the actual outfits that I'm using as examples in this video, and I'm going to break down outfit by outfit, I'm going to show you and explain to you the framework that I use in order to come to this vast amount of outfits from a small amount of clothing items. Very similar to the ideology behind a capsule wardrobe. If you've heard of that, just look into it. It's pretty much similar. The only thing is that my wardrobe doesn't have that many like basics. So it kind of takes into account whatever you have and how you can put things together with what you got. So if that sounds like something you're interested in hearing more about, then go ahead and keep on watching. So starting off, I want you to pinpoint these three different categories of things that you have in your wardrobe or that you typically wear. The first would be your go-to or default outfits. I'm talking about the specific outfit that you go for. I always wear this specific top with these pants or this bottom and this layer and these shoes. Whatever formula of an exact outfit that you wear, keep all of those primary ones in your head. The second thing is your favorite clothing items. Like the clothes that you want to wear all the time, but you don't want to like outwear them and like get tired of it. The ones that you find are like just your preference. Or even if it's something that you just usually wear to do the most basic things like errands. Add that to your list, your mental list or your physical list, whatever your choice is. <laughs> And third is your no-fail silhouettes. These are outfit fits that you wear, not the actual items like the first category I mentioned. For example, commonly little top, big bottoms, or you might wear like baggy top and bottoms. Or maybe you just love uh, form-fitted outfits or something like that. Whatever the case is, write that down. I have like five of them to be quite honest. <laughs> so next, after you've gathered all of that information, I want you to find any correlations in the three. When it comes to your favorite outfits, ask yourself, does this include one of my favorite items? Can I swap one of these out for one of my favorite items? Ask yourself if this is in one of my favorite silhouettes. If I swap an item out, will it become one of my favorite silhouettes? When it comes to your favorite items, ask yourself, are there any other items that are kind of structured like this one, styled like this one, colored like this one? Are there any other outfits that I can put this in that fit my favorite silhouettes or that resemble my favorite outfits? I mean, we were kind of repeating some things here, but you get what I'm saying. And the last thing I want you to ask is, can you experiment with an item in a different silhouette? For example, for me, one silhouette that I'm still trying to figure out how to wear, which conveniently is like coming back in style, is like a fitted bottom with a looser top. I just, I don't know, I can do it, but I don't know. <laughs> Um, and that is another area for me to tackle and still be able to evolve my wardrobe in without buying new clothes. So can you expand yourself by trying new silhouettes? Are there any specific items that you have that can make that new silhouette work for you or enjoyable for you? And the last thing when it comes to how to put together these outfits as many as possible with your small wardrobe is styling in and of itself. I mean, there's a difference between just putting on clothing items and styling an outfit. 
You want to have different components to come into play, accessories, layering, unique styles of layering or unique approaches to layering, color schemes, different textures, fabrics. You want to try a lot of different things and obviously the silhouettes, which I mentioned, that's part of the styling as well. So now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, I'm going to apply all this to the outfits that I put together and I'm going to try to incorporate the tips that I shared with you into my thought processes behind the outfits that I'm going to show you. So I have four different examples. They're basically, I'm going to start with the base outfit and then evolve them into different outfits each so that you can see how you can add these different components and angles of looking at the outfit in order to turn it into something else. We're gonna get the most basic, boring, unattractive outfit out of the way, but authentically, this is an outfit that I very, very often go to when I'm walking my dog. And it's this big oversized hoodie that I got from the, what is it? The High Museum of Art during the Virgil Abloh exhibit. So that's where I got that hoodie. It was the only size I had left, so that's why it's so big, but I like it. And then I got the pants from, I want to say Pretty Little Thing. They're just like cargo joggers. And then these shoes, they're just Nike, like Prestos, I think. And yeah, it's a basic outfit. I don't really like going anywhere other than around the neighborhood in this outfit. <laughs> now, the easiest way to make this outfit look a little bit more attractive for day-to-day -day wear is a normal fitted hoodie. I got this hoodie from Target. It's just really sleek and simple, and I like wearing this one with the little bub bubble slippers that were really popular a few years back. Yes, I got these shoes like three years ago. And I got the shoes from a small business. I don't even remember. I think it was called like J Couture. I have to change the shoes out because black shoes, beige pants, teal hoodie, it just doesn't really make sense. So I incorporate this color scheme by bringing in the beige shoes and it has pops of color on the shoes to make it a little bit more colorful as well. So when I wanna get in my cool girl bag, I put on this baggy t-shirt over the hoodie I really love having a t-shirt over my hoodie. Like, I feel like that's like my little thing. <laughs> and then I like these cargo jeans. These are the best jeans. They're so freaking cool. I got them from PacSun. Now an alternative to the t-shirt is a puffer vest. And they're awesome. I mean, who could really pass up a good puffer? This one I got from Shein. Don't judge me. It was a while ago. Okay, it was like a year ago, but still I've changed. And I really love to wear this silver chain on my jeans because it just gives me this completely new energy. It gives me a completely new expression. This is probably my favorite accessory for sure. And this shopping bag, I really love this. I literally got it grocery shopping from Kroger. Um, oh, and the chain I got on a pair of pants. It came with a pair of pants that I got from Ross. But this bag, I love that it's cream. So cream is like my version of white I usually wear for like my skin tone. And then it has pops of color, so I'm able to incorporate it with a lot of outfits. So moving on to the second example or group of examples, this is a staple outfit that I go for, usually with a belt, but I didn't put one on for the sake of this video. Black cargo pants that I got from Goodwill years ago. This is a fitted like ribbed black t-shirt, crop t-shirt. Honestly, don't even remember where I got it from. Probably Ross, I mean, that's the kind of material they usually sell there. And then I've got this black fuzzy hoodie on from Goodwill as well. I'm a big thrifter and then the same Nike little sneakers that I have. And this is a great outfit because black is always sleek. You can't really go wrong with an all black outfit, but I love that this outfit has different textures as well. So you have like this kind of hard starchy fabric with the pants you have the fuzzy soft from the hoodie and then just stretchy kind of like you know whatever thin fabric with the top fabrics and the textures give it a little bit more depth and on top of that this is one of my favorite silhouettes to wear it's like a fitted top loose bottoms and jacket because it is february now for me personally i have a bright spring skin tone and most colors make me look dull I try to wear bright colors as often as I can because they make me look the best. Like they make me look like I'm not dying, basically. And a lot of the time when I'm wearing all black, I feel so invisible that I want to spice it up with my favorite fuzzy pink hat. So I have this bucket hat that I also got from Shein. And I also then add on my little chain on the, the waist or whatever for some pizzazz. These accessories make a huge difference because you see two different people without and with those accessories. 
the blue denim jacket. I like that this brings more of a vibrant color to the outfit as well. I feel a little bit more, you know, myself, I guess, with this brightness. I love the sleek look of the black outfit and the visual texture of that hoodie, but I tend to be a casual girly and I like the brightness of the blue, so this speaks to my personality a little bit more. Now, I do have another example with a play on the color schemes concept. There's this Target jacket that looks quilted. It looks like it's thrifted. Someone actually thought it was because it has this kind of a rugged look to it. And I pair it with these hiking shoes that are from Nike. I think they're called Lahar. And they came with these orange laces or partly orange laces. So I always pair these two items together for the color scheme and it changes the whole color scheme of like any outfit. As you can see, orange and beige, it kind of gives me a little more of an earthy vibe rather than this like Black just gives a sophistication, whereas these neutrals give more of a down-to-earth vibe. So it brings the two together. Okay, third example. This red dress, I will never let go of. I probably will keep it until it falls apart. I got it from Zara, and I love to wear it casually with, like, a jacket. As you can see, this denim jacket with just a black pair of sneakers or whatever is fine. Um, I can throw on with it the shopping bag because... This little pop of color always helps. Any layers or accessories are going to transform this outfit with this dress. So instead of wearing the denim jacket, I'll put on that fuzzy black jacket. And now I look a little bit more glammed up, but still casual with the shoes. And recently I tried that orange jacket hiking shoes combo with this dress and like some bunched up white socks at my ankles. And I felt like it was really cool casual and just kind of unexpected. So this is definitely what styling looks like. I know it's not something that every woman would want to wear, but that's kind of the point. It's a me thing and my style and my expression rather than what's trendy, what's popular, what everyone else is doing. So my fourth and final group of examples, this is when I feel like I'm really in my bag. When I'm wearing my favorite, favorite jeans of all time, when I tell you I've literally had these jeans for over a decade. These are Levi 512s that I got from Goodwill, of course, when I was in high school. And I love them so much. I still fit them whenever I possibly can. Sometimes I grow out of them and I just keep them anyways till I can fit in them. Cause these are the kind you gotta squeeze in. It's like a really durable fabric. The top that I'm wearing, got it from Ross, but I really love it again because of the color. So this combination of bright colors is my favorite. I pair them with the bubble slippers because they're just really fun and playful. But unless I'm having a really, really chill day, this outfit feels a little bit incomplete for me. I want to accessorize it a bit. So what do I add on? The pink hat and the puffer. Because the puffer has pink on the inside. The hat has the same pinks as the puffer and the top, pretty much. So it's pretty cohesive and bright and colorful, just exactly how I like it, you know? And when I don't want to wear my favorite jeans, I just wear my second favorite jeans with this top. I mean, obviously I'll wear other things sometimes, but... This is gonna give me the silhouette that I like again with the fitted top, the loose bottoms. It makes me feel more cool. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like, I feel like my beauty is expressed more in a more sleek and kind of straight leg pant, but I feel like my personality is expressed more with a baggier pant. So it's just like a little of this and a little of that. And let's say I want to try something out. This is definitely a try something out option because I've actually never even worn this outfit, but I think it would work. Um, giving me a little bit more of like this pulled together look with a black fitted long sleeve top rather than the pink one. And then just going ahead and keeping those jeans with the chain and the vest and the bubble slippers. So it still has a fun aspect of it with those slippers and a little bit more personality with the chain and everything but a little more subdued with the black top instead of the pink. It's gonna draw less attention, less eyes towards me. And that's okay, sometimes that's exactly what you need. <laughs> so that's it, that's all I got for you. I hope this has been an enjoyable video for you to watch. Let me know if you're enjoying this fashion content. There definitely will be more coming. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked it, then like it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.